when people justify atrocities against civilians in the name of God, it really says something about what they really believe. As I consider Osama bin Laden to be an extremist, I also consider those Israeli leaders and those Christian leaders who call for war and bloodshed to also be terrorists. And we must stand against all terrorists everywhere. Is there anything that I failed to ask? I just think that people need to learn more about what happened and what has been happening for the last 60 years. This is not just something that started overnight. This is an occupation that's been going on for a long time. And I think that if people really understand things, call their elected representatives, call um, President-elect Barack uh, Obama, and really let them know that for the good of our own country, we need to do something to bring peace to the Middle East. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. What do you think about uh, Barack's silence about uh, what's going on in Gaza? Well, I, I think I think it has to do with with the what he's armed himself with, and armed is not a good word, but what he's surrounded himself with in terms of advisors and appointments. And it's the same old Beltway situation. Uh, I, I think it's uh, I don't want to guess. You know, we all want him to speak up and bring about change, and at the same time, part of this timing and this attack that was planned two months ago was to do this before he got in. And, and also to use up, use up those artillery so that we could restock them. It's all horrible to think about that. But that's part of the political process, part of the process in Washington in terms of contract and money and how things flow. So for those who saw change, and we have to remind ourselves that we've got to be the change because it can't come in that one branch and it's not coming out of Congress. So our work is still cut out for us in terms of of, of pushing what's right and just. No. Has Barack shown any indication that he's going to differ with the regard to Israel uh, from the policies of the past? He's going to differ with Bush's policies with regard to Israel? In, in, in terms of what I've seen, no. You know, you know the fact that, that the day after uh, he had his delegates squared away to be the nominee, you know, he came to the Israeli lobby and promised to do all that he could in terms of protecting and maintaining the status quo. So, you know, it would be hope that that along that all that rush of change that America is trying to be about, that we continue the push to to, to, to pull this up on the on the stack of uh, papers on the desk. You know, with all that's happening in this country, financial crisis, mortgages, homes, uh, it's too easy for this to settle down because it's more difficult and to not to stand up and take courage to do something. And so we want that to happen but we've got to be the ones to make it happen. And, and what do you think about, uh, like, uh, Cynthia McKinney is being accused of supporting uh, Hamas, supporting a terrorist group. How do, how do you rank Hamas as a terrorist group compared to the Israeli military? Well, you know, we, call, we talk about elected, the, uh, elected democratically uh, in, in terms of representations and forms of government and party. I think this, this whole thing of name calling, labeling, we've experienced too long and we as an American public has to have to see through that and have to see past that in terms of what terrorism and what we do that's terrorism. You know, if we, if we, if we look back at history, you know, the American patriots would be called terrorists. What do you make of the uh, Obama silence on the attack on Gaza? You know, I, I really am saddened um, by it. Um, I think that although I could certainly understand that he does not want to interfere um, because he is not the president, and yet he's interfering in everything else. He's interfering in the economy. He's interfering in everything else. It's not really interference. It's at least showing that you have a position. And I think the fact that he's remained silent um, is really an indication that we may not be getting a, a very much changed policy in the Bush, excuse me, in the Obama administration. And, and what do you think of the, uh, like, his first appointment, Chief of Staff, as a dual citizen of Israel? What kind of statement does that make to, to people that supported Obama? Well, you know, I think that Rahm Emanuel, um, clearly his father was Israeli, was involved actually in the Urgun, a, a terrorist uh, a group. Um, and so there is really a, a concern about that. But also with uh, Hillary Clinton as uh, Secretary of State. Uh, the remarks that she's made with regards to the Palestinians is something that we also have a lot to worry about. If she continues with the same uh, same policies of um, uh, even her husband, 
I think that we're going to have uh, you know, some serious problems. It's going to be basically uh, business as usual, which means more bloodshed, more violence, uh, occupation um, continued. So the only hope that I have is I do believe that Barack Obama understands the issue. The question is, does he have the will to make any changes? Um, what I've seen so far doesn't give me a lot of optimism. And, and with regard to things like the Mersheimer Walt uh, study on the control of Israel in our in our in our government, uh, do you have any comments about how much they're controlling our policies, our foreign policies in the Iraq War? Well, you know, I, I think that uh, I, my feeling is that there's certain individuals in our own government, part of uh, uh, the you know right wing, the military industrial complex, and so forth, that I think are also playing a very very uh, significant role. And I think that some of the, the, uh, those who are in support of Israel um, and Israel's policies are actually working together on, on this particular um, issue. Um, do I, I feel that um, the policies in the United States with regards to Israel are pretty much made in, in Israel? Yes, I do. I mean, it's, there, there's, a, there's a, even a, a slogan uh, or, or a bumper sticker that says, you know, American Congress is really occupied territory. I mean, uh, the Israeli Congress is basically giving carte blanche to the, the, excuse me, the American Congress is giving carte blanche to the Israeli government for everything that they do. Even when it stands inconsistent with our um, uh, values as a nation, and even when it's uh, directly detrimental to our own country, we still support, uh, you know, Israeli policies. We defend them in the United Nations. Um, we basically give them political cover. We give them billions of dollars in aid, our best weapons. I mean, it's, it's really pathetic.